So I don't know who needs to hear this, but every woman on my 600 pound life has a man. Eat whatever the fuck you want. Okay? Yeah, that statement so far from the truth, she would have been better off saying, if you take your ball sack out at a Home Depot, you're going to get free appliances. Trust me, I did it. Yo, it's Don Tim ever said, suck me off. We watching my 600 pound life. Let's see the reality of what they living in. Let's see if, you know, if it's all cracked up to be. Let's go. My first start in the morning when I wake up is I'm still alive. Now I want you to think about this for a second. Her first thought when she wakes up is, wow, I'm still alive. Not, oh man, look at them birds. Oh shoot, look at that. I'm, it's a nice day today. I can't wait to step out and play some frisbee. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, when I wake up, I thank God that I'm still alive. You know, you got to thank God you're still here, but, but good grief. You know, she battling them demons. Let's go. And because of my weight, I feel like my body's already giving up. I have lost most of my mobility, and I can't stand on my own. Now you can see, you know, it's messing with her mobility. Now you see all these health at every size preachers and all that talking about, oh, you ain't unhealthy if you fat as fuck. But we can see the reality of it. And it's sad. I, I hope this lady doing good. You know what I mean? I hope she doing good now because when you this fucking obese, you can't do nothing. She lost her mobility. Niggas take that for granted. The fact you can go outside and actually talk to somebody. She's supposed to be settling down with a man. You know what I mean? Or, or a woman, if that's what she wants. She's supposed to be settling down with somebody, sucking somebody off. You know what I mean? Maybe she like getting fucked in the ass. We don't know. And she, she'll never know because... She's so damn big, she can't even, she, she, she's so big, it's like, you, you, you're literally, your, your exercise is going to the bathroom. When you get up to use the bathroom, that's the equivalent of a nigga running on a treadmill for 10 minutes just to use the bathroom. Think about that. Let's keep it moving. Because of that, I can no longer live alone. Even worse, I have to live in the middle of my parents' living room. It is the only room where I fit, and it's close to the bathroom. I know I should be living in my own house. I should be working instead of being stuck in this house. She should be out there getting fucked. Think, for real. Now think about it, though. She should be out there getting fucked. Like, she... <laughs> Hold on, man, because... Come on, man, because I'm keeping it for real, man. I'm y'all playing. I'm being serious, though. I'm being for real, though. She should be out there getting fucked. <laughs> it ain't, nah, for real, though. I'm, keep, I'm trying to keep this 100%, 100% kosher deli. I ain't bullshitting with you. For real, she should be out there married with kids, taking the kids to Mount Rushmore, going hiking. It ain't even about working. That's the thing. It ain't even just about working. She should be out there on the beach going fishing, you know what I mean? Just little things that we take for granted in our everyday life, even just the joy of being able to go to the movies every here and there, or even just being able to walk freely, you know? She can't even do. And, and this lady got in there to be talking about some. Every woman on my 600 pound life has a man. No, she don't. What man she got? Who? Who? For real. And the only nigga she had, if, if she did have one, the motherfucker probably suffocated the fucking death or turned to flat the fuck Stanley, wrote a book and left the ass. And I'm being for real, though. And I'm being for real. And I'm saying this for real. Because, like, it's it's this it's this blurred reality. People want to turn into this. Talking about something, keep eating, keep eating. Do you. Yeah, do you until you end up on this show with no man listening to her. Listening to her ass. She the main villain of this video. She the main villain. And I, and I hope this lady doing good. I hope this lady doing good. Let's keep moving. Come on, Mika. It is so difficult for me to actually get out of the house. 
Just to get out of the front door is a huge challenge for me. And by the time that I do, I am out of breath. Now we got my friend right here so fat that she had to get out her bed, get in a wheelchair, and push herself to the door so that she can get through the door into another wheelchair. You know what I mean? Now you tell me that's health at every size. You know what I mean? This shit's sad to see. This sad to see. I hope she's doing good. I said that already, but I hope she's doing good. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's let's get through this video. My parents have to drive me, and I sit in the back of the van on the floor. So they literally had to flow the seats in the van down, put a blanket on the floor. Good kid, mad city ass van. Niggas think they Kendrick Lamar. That shit phony as shit. That weak ass van. Should call the police on them fucking niggas. Okay. I need. You need a gym membership. The pineapple nectar. My must haves when anytime I go grocery shopping is juice, chips, my snack cakes, ice cream. Those are the main things I need to have. Can you get banana split? Get this double strawberry. Now this is the part that always baffled me. You feel me? Like if 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 somebody was this fat and I was in charge of taking care of them, I wouldn't give them what they asked for. That's the one thing I never really understand. Like. I wouldn't enable them. Like, I feel like buying somebody food when that's their addiction is the same as buying a crackhead crack or buying a porn addict Karina Coughs used underwear. You know what I mean? It's kind of stupid. All right, let's keep moving. Thank you for calling. Would you like to try two medium pizza for 6 dollars I'll have two medium pizzas with pepperoni and sausage, okay. one order of your cheese sticks, 24 honey chipotle wings, and the double chocolate chip brownie. Think about the addiction. Think about how she just went to the market to get food, but now she's home and ordering pizza, food. Everything is rather she getting high or she planning to get high. That's where she living at right now. That's the dark reality of addiction. Let's keep it moving. My parents know I eat a lot, but they don't know I eat this much. Okay. When I'm eating, sometimes I feel like I'm out of control. You are. But each bite, it's so satisfying. It's satisfying because you're a drug addict. It makes me feel warm and good inside, if only for a short while. You know what else makes you feel warm and good inside? If only for a short while. A long dick when you get fucked. Well, <laughs> it feel like that for a woman. I'm not saying it feel like that for me. <laughs> but what I'm basically what I'm saying is she living this life of, of of solitude for so long, she forgot the warm embrace of a man. Matter of fact, this is for you. Th this is for her. This is for her. If she watching this video, this is for you. Mm. Mm. I'm giving you a hug. I know that everybody else making fun of you and laughing, but I actually care about you. You know, but behind all the jokes, I actually hope you get better. I actually love you. You know what I mean? I see you for who you can be, not for who you are. One more. Mm. That's for you. That's for you. You my girl. Hey. You better chill out. <laughs> Let's keep moving. I made myself get like this because of my eating disorders and everything, and I hate myself more. And that makes me just want to eat more because that comforts me. Something has to change drastically. I need help. I got a small penis. I need help. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to hear more. Hit the bell. Don't miss it, man. I talk about everything. I talk about somebody eating their own shit. I talked about somebody getting pistol whipped. I talked about somebody beating off in public. So if that's what you like, if you like to hear about everything, subscribe. Hit the bell, man. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment. Suck me off. Peace. Killer be kill, my bitches fuck with me still. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Killer be kill, my bitches fuck with me still. Yeah. Uh.
killer be killed, I'ma always be real. Yeah, uh. Killer be killed, mama fuck with me still.